In today's video, we're gonna talk about the key thing when you're launching a product. It's all well and good having the best product in the world, but if nobody sees your product, no one's gonna buy your product. Now, we all know that if you're buying something on Amazon, you don't look through the second page. You rarely look down the page, never mind going on to a different page. Meaning that it's essential for your product launch that you are ranking for the first page. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks to get you ranked. Hey everyone, welcome back to Deal Hunters. Just before we get into it, who are Deal Hunters? You might ask if you're new to the channel. We are an Amazon FBA seller and e-commerce seller. As a collective team, our expertise is over a decade selling. So as a team, we have a fair idea how to sell on online stores. So you can gain a lot of information by watching this video. Now this video is a popular one because it's essential. It is the most probably essential part of launching a product. It is key that you get your product on the first page. Now all the heavy work should be done before actually purchasing purchasing a product. Now there's plenty of tools out there that can help you do this. You can even use kind of Amazon's basic one. You can always just use your old noggin, maybe find some of the information on YouTube or whatever. But for me, I would cut out all of this. This is going to be something that you're going to invest thousands of pounds in. So why not spend a few pounds or a few bucks on something that is actually going to do all the heavy work for you and actually expedite and not only expedite, give you better results. Now, before we get into it properly, let's just talk about what is SEO, search engine optimization. And what that means is it is a word that you type in to Google or Amazon in this case, and Amazon will find you the best results suited to that keyword. For example, hat. If you typed hat into Amazon, you're probably gonna get millions of search results, which isn't gonna be great if you're launching a hat, for example. It's gonna be very difficult to rank. So when you're starting off, the first thing you gotta think about is what is my overall category that I'm going for and how much of a niche can I make it, i.e. to bring down your results for hat, you might go black hat, you might go deal hunters, black hat snapback these are keywords these are words that allows amazon to look through all their listings and go this one based on these keywords is the best suited that's how you rank and we'll talk about keywords in a moment the next thing that's important that amazon looks at is your click through rate now a ctr as it's known as is vital Amazon looks at this and goes, okay, people are clicking on this listing, i.e. does the picture look good, the description look good, are people clicking on this listing? If there's a lots of clicks, Amazon likes that. Why? Because it shows that there's something about this listing that people are interested in. Now, it's not just enough to have a good click-through rate. It's important to have people clicking and then buying. And that leads me to conversion. Amazon looks at your conversion rate, and this is the, probably the most essential matrix in terms of Amazon because what they want is people looking at a listing, liking the listing, and then purchasing it. They're not going away. They feel they need to buy this product right now. So it's almost like a three-fold thing to get ranked on Amazon. It's not just enough to have the best product in the world. You need help to get there. Now, there is another thing that people don't realize as well. If you have the black hat and somebody else, your competitor, has the black hat, but your one is at $10 and their one is at $9, well, guess what? You would think they'll go for the cheapest one. No, no, no. Amazon will promote the higher one. The reason being is because if it ticks all the boxes that we've just discussed and you're doing very well and it's like for like, well, Amazon will promote the higher one purely because they will make more money. When I sell a product, they take more commission. The higher the value, the more commission. So they're a business at the end of the day. They're not gonna just go, hmm, okay, we'll promote the cheap one because that's best value. They will promote the higher one. So bear that in mind. A lot of people think the key to getting on the first page is just drop your prices and people will go for that listing. It just does not work like that. Now there is other things to think about. For example, basic stuff like making sure your product's in the right category. Make sure you never run out of stock. Amazon hates sellers that run out of stock, but we'll talk about that in another video. Now that I've explained the background to what we're talking about, let's see how you can rank. Keywords are the key thing here. And what we wanna do is bring up our tool, AMZ Scout. Log into AMZ Scout, as you can see here. And what you'll do is the big banner that says, keywords and listings go to this section so there's keyword tracker which allows you to do the research in advance so you can track how well a keyword is performing and there's a brilliant feature called listing builder which does everything for you as always amz scout will give you plenty of tutorial stuff but we're not going to go into that i'm going to show you right now so the first thing you need to think about is again going back to the hat reference hat no point no point even considering searching for the keyword is hot you want other smaller niches and that's how you should be thinking before you even do anything how can you make this more of a niche look for keywords that are perhaps not the highest ranked ones because you want to go under the radar you want people that are a bit obscure that are typing in black snapback hat 
with Dale Hunter's logo. That is so specific. You want to be trying to search for those types of keywords. You want to rank for that, for those people that are maybe only, you know, 500 clicks a month or whatever. Those are the people you want to try and target because those people are going to be the ones that you direct because you're going to rank number one for that. So let's explain what you're looking at here. This is where you type in the keyword. Our searches pull together the keywords that include all the words that you enter into the search bar. Therefore, the more words you use, the more limited your search will be. If you were to type in hat, black, Deal Hunters logo, chances are nothing's going to come up. It's too specific. And also, we don't sell our merch on Amazon. The recommendation is to use no more than three keywords. Now, over here, you can type in, enter the minimum and maximum number of words. This will give you the search results. Again, the default settings are probably fine here, two to five. And here, you can type in the search volume. And this is how many times the keyword is searched. So say, for example, you do want a high sales volume. You might want to have something that's only being searched 10 times. You can filter that out. But for the purposes of this example, I'm going to exclude all that and I'm just going to go straight away and type in hat. Hit enter. It is going to search through billions of keywords and it's going to work out exactly what is the best keywords for you. Now, you can export all this data to Excel. There is people that prefer using Excel for their own records. That's completely fine and it gives you the option to do that. Now, as you can see, there is lots of hats. Baby Sun hat, Witch hat, key ring, Santa hat. It's entirely up to you what way you like to search, but I personally like to um, have it set just with the estimated monthly search volumes. That's probably the most important thing for me. Now, while this method can work, there's actually an easier way to use this AMZ keyword research tool. That's by finding the competitor and searching for their keywords when you see. Here is the trick. Go to Amazon, type in a black hat. Doesn't really matter. We'll click on the first one here. Say, yep, this looks like the kind of hat that I want to sell. Double click into the taskbar, you'll get your ASIN. Control C to copy that. Go back to AMZ Scout and you'll see here what were we going to go. Reverse ASIN lookup 2.0. Control V, your ASIN into there. And what this does is actually does it the opposite way around. It finds a listing and goes, what keywords is this person ranking for? What keywords has made this listing popular? You don't have to think about it now. This does it all for you. And you can see here, what, it, what are they ranking for? Well, the search volume for men's ski hat, look at this. That's the key one that they're bringing in. Warm hat, different things, beanies, beanie caps, men's thermal hat. These are all the keywords that they're ranking for. And you can see here the main ASIN position. So where is this person ranked? Well, they're sitting seventh, the winning position, the number one, the number one in all these things. Look at this, outstanding. And you can see here sponsored page, they're on a sponsored page, the average keyword sales, 76, 87 sales a month based on these keywords. And just like the keyword tool, you have the search volume. So if we typed in, say your search volume wanted to be minimum of 500, find keywords. This product is only bringing up one, one result. So again, it's quite a niche that we've clicked on there. If you were to click on Lego, you can imagine the amount of stuff that would come up. But the main ASIN page is number one. That is so good. Main ASIN position number seven. So you're on the first page. This is the keyword that they are ranking with. Now if we scroll across here, you'll see the average keyword sales. 76 sales is not a lot of sales per month, but you get the idea here. This keyword, if you were to pay for a click, so you're bidding on this keyword. This is the keyword that you're in competition with. You'll share based on your your based on your price how much you're willing to pay for this keyword. So, for example, if I'm willing to spend a pound or one dollar on a, this keyword, and the other person is only going to spend fifty p or fifty cent, that means that I am going to be the sponsored product on this, and that means I will generate the sales and you will get roughly about 76 sales a month based on these keywords. Now let's go back to the keyword research tool and we're gonna type in um, something a bit different, face cream. This time search volume, we want it to be at least a thousand and we'll search for that. And you can start to see here, we're filtering out a lot now. So we've got face cream for teenage boys, okay. Um, all these different ranks, look at 9,000. So there's one there that is Botox face cream. Average keyword sales, 766. Keyword trend is upwards. The Botox face cream is doing well. And just as a side note, have you ever thought that L'Oreal or Number 7 or all these big brands are forever revitalizing their names? Oh, this cool new key name. And this is this is hot, this new product, this new feature. Well, that's all to do with trying to get more sales. It's pretty much the same stuff over and over and over again. And it allows them to sell a product and maybe overtake their competitors. And it's all to do with keywords. So if you click into this here, this will tell you then this keyword 
as, as always we've talked about the the product score for private label you can scroll across here you can see the price the fees searching by um, average keyword sales filtering that you can see moisturizing face cream seems to be reasonably popular with 2000 so that is a real niche it's not just face cream it's saying look avoid face cream and you're not going to rank for it but here is one moisturizing face cream 2000 pay for a click on that you're likely to then rank on the first page now you have a fair idea how you can kind of do this manually but if you don't want to do it manually there is that new feature that we touched on earlier on the listing builder build a unique listing for your product using only the most popular keywords that stand out from your competition so we click on this start and create create your product listing by utilizing keywords tailored to meet your criteria there is a tutorial video but we'll skip that you can watch that on another time we're going to go to create listing once you reach this page you'll find the following sections in which you'll need so you need a product title five bullet points description and search terms these are all things that you can just thought of or use the tools that we've already mentioned to populate so add keywords we'll say hat um beanie warm hat black hat warm hat and we'll just add them or you can get from asin which we discussed earlier on but we're going to manually type this in just to show you the product title so warm black beanie hat and five bullet points again black hat i'll go warm hat we'll go beanie hat trendy hat what about just hat description best warm beanie hat for the winter to keep you warm obviously you'll be going into a lot more details than this over here you have your keyword group so what's the top keyword well i suppose it's probably going to be hat so if you scroll down here you'll see it gives you little tips here no symbols no emojis your bullet points five bullet points each bullet point starts with the capital letters pricing shipping or company information no more than 2000 a carry so it literally gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to do this description no caps promotional phrases between a thousand to two thousand characters search terms no repeat or special symbols input a listing name will go beanie hat like I said, this is going to be probably one of the worst listings you've ever seen in your entire life. Then you hit save and it brings you here. It has all your keywords, the product title, all the information that you've put in. You can export it. You can obviously edit. When you export it, it then goes into Excel. So you get the idea. Put all your information into this. It's like a checklist. Just follow exactly what it's telling you to do. And that's the key thing about it is that you can forget these things. And even if you were to do this a hundred times over, you're likely to forget something that's why a tick box checklist you can't make a mistake with private label that is why that checklist will keep you completely right all the information that you've already gathered copy and paste it have two windows just copy and paste it all across and then you have a whole entire listing optimized ready exported to excel once you have your listing created then it's key to be running ads and you'll run your ads on those smaller keywords the ones that you're more likely to rank for and we'll discuss that in a different video so i hope you find this one informative if you have please like and subscribe to the channel but more importantly click the link down below and you can actually get a free trial of amz scout this will allow you to play about with all the features and i believe once you do that you will actually see the benefit and having this tool by your side it is essential absolutely essential trying to launch a product without a tool is just ludicrous you need tools you may as well click the link down below and get a free trial you have nothing to lose it'll allow you to create the absolute perfect optimized listing good luck on your journey and i will see you in the next video